welcome to another Robolink tutorial on how to use the inventor board. Today we will be going over how to use the DC motor pins on here just so that you can control some motors. So just so you know motor 1 and motor 3 are actually paired so if you call motor 1 it actually moves any motors attached to motor 3. Same thing goes for motor 2 so just keep that as a side note. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to input our void setup and void loop protocols just so that we don't have to enter them in later. So go ahead and put those in. Next what we're going to do is we have to actually use a library that Robolink has created in order to get these motors to move in a very efficient way. So go ahead and do hash include smart inventor dot h dot h okay next what we're going to do is we're going to include some global variables to make our coding a lot more efficient so to do that we're going to specify byte speed is equal to 60. this will make it so that anytime we use the word speed it replaces that number or that word speed with the number 60 so it specifies that it will be moving at 60 units. Next we're going to say that a word motor delay is also a global variable and we're going to specify motor delay to be 1000 meaning 1000 milliseconds. Next we're going to go inside the void setup and we're going to use our library to pull out one of the functions that we created. So it's smart inventor, which is the library that we have over here. And then we're going to use the function DC motor use. Okay. Next, what we want to do also is we want to print onto the serial monitor the uh, direction that the motor is moving, just so that we have two versions of feedback not just the motor moving but also the serial monitor showing us that it's moving. So there's a serial dot begin 57,600. Next we're going to go into the void loop and we are going to use the function that we created. Um, it's going to be smart inventor dot DC motor and then the motor we want to use, so in this case I'm going to use motor 1, and then the direction that we want to use, so I'm going to make it go counterclockwise, and then the speed. So remember we created this global variable up here, so now if I specify speed, it actually replaces the word speed with the number 60. Next, we're going to have it print that it's going counterclockwise, so let's go ahead and do a serial.print lawn and then quotation so that we can print some text so we're going to say that motor 1 is moving counterclockwise then we're going to put a delay and the delay will be specified by this motor delay that we have up here so go ahead and write motor delay So now that we have done this for motor 1, we can also move, do the same thing, but make it motor 2. So all we have to do is say motor 2 instead of motor 1, and then say that motor 2 is moving counterclockwise. So really quick, I'm just going to write down all the commands you could use to control the motors instead of counterclockwise. We can have it move clockwise. We can also make it stop. So this is like a braking motion. And then we can also make it stall the motor into a stop. So this is a typing in loose. So these are the three other commands other than counterclockwise in order for it to move. Try testing these out by replacing these ones 
and your code should still work. So go ahead and verify. Then upload your program onto the board. And you should see after you flip the dip switch down that the motors will be moving. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.